It looks like we're going to have a great start weather-wise to the weekend with sunshine and very nice temperatures. High should be in the 70s for most of the area. A few showers and thunderstorms may return on Sunday, but again, warmer temperatures, and it looks like pretty quiet weather to start the work week next week. More on the forecast in a second. First, the current conditions. In Brainerd, we're seeing some cloudy skies tonight at 61 degrees. 46 is the dew point, 57% humidity, and winds are south at 3 miles per hour. In Bemidji, it's partly cloudy and 61. The dew point is at 34. Pressure is rising and winds are west at 5 miles per hour. Our temperatures tonight across the area, mainly in the 50s, but a few locations still reporting temperatures in the 60s yet tonight. We have 63 right now in Roseau, 60 in Park Rapids, 55 in Grand Rapids, Boston, and Little Falls, both in at 59. Now, the flood warning continues along the Mississippi River in locations near Aiken, Brainerd, and Fort Ripley. We are still seeing some moderate flooding around the Aiken area, minor flooding in, near Fort Ripley and in Brainerd. River levels should continue to be fairly steady, maybe rising a little bit in the Fort Ripley area before falling as we head into the weekend and early part of next week. Checking in with the Eagle Eyes tonight. Dawn in Deer Lake, mostly sunny skies today. 39 for the low this morning, so again, some chilly starts uh, this week. 74 was the high. Bob and Bluffton seeing partly cloudy skies with a low of 40 and a high of 69. Looking at the Almanac, Brainerd today reaching a high of 71. Very seasonal, only one degree shy of the average high temperature for today. 40 was the low. We had sunrise at 528. In Bemidji, we reached a high of 68. So again, we're falling a little shy of that average high temperature. Very close, though, and very comfortable temperature-wise in the Bemidji area as well. 36 was our low, so again, those cool starts with a sunset of 909. So as you look at the radar, we did have some precipitation in the Dakotas that tried to make it into Minnesota, but the, the system just not strong enough, uh, and most of the precipitation dissipating before it moved into the state. We are going to have at least a, a chance of seeing some showers, maybe some thunderstorms in far western Minnesota as the system continues moving to the east, but it doesn't look like it's going to hold together very well. So for the most part, it looks like it's going to be a dry night tonight and tomorrow. Actually, a beautiful start to the weekend. Partly cloudy skies across the north. It looks like as far as temperatures go, 70 into maybe the mid-70s for our highs in northern Minnesota. Central Minnesota should also be looking at partly maybe some mostly sunny skies in some locations in central Minnesota. And again, those highs low to mid-70s, so again, a beautiful start to the weekend. We could be seeing a little bit of low pressure developing in the Dakotas that's going to push into the state on Sunday, so some showers and thunderstorms are possible late this weekend. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy, a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the west with lows near 46. And for tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies, should be seeing highs near 72, west to northwest winds at 5 to 15. Taking a look at the rest of the weekend, as I mentioned, low pressure in the Dakotas could bring some showers and thunderstorms into Minnesota on Sunday. It's going to clear out pretty quickly on Monday, partly to mostly sunny, but you can see temperatures are going to be warming up upper 70s, maybe near 80 early next week, and that's going to continue into the first part of next week as well. Still quiet on Tuesday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms returns on Wednesday. Highs on Wednesday reaching about 76. Lows should be mainly in the 50s. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.